All right, let's talk about Julius, right? Because he is coming out this season, and I know that so many people, including myself, are hyped for him. Now, here's the thing, okay? With Julius coming out for season three, is he gonna be good? Is he gonna be cracked? Is he gonna be as good as season two Noel? Who knows? But I cannot imagine that they are gonna release one of the most hyped characters in the entire anime without him being like extremely broken or cracked. So most likely, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out here and say it. Like, even though we have no info on his kit whatsoever, besides like, you know, the leaks that I went over the other day, I really don't think it's gonna be, you know, that's his official kit. I'd be very surprised if it was. I do think he is going to be really good, okay? It's Julius, and the crazy thing is that he is going to appear with a special event. So now, when I first read this, I even said it in that video, I do think he is going to be our first ever event character. Like, when I mean event character, I mean, like, potentially Dolconfess character, right? Um, so, with this game, if you guys don't know, technically the only, like, event characters that we had so far are just seasonals, right? That's the only event characters, you know? They are our quote-unquote limited unit in which, you know, once they come out during their season, once they leave, that's it. We don't, you know, we don't know when they're coming back. So whenever season two ends, those characters are leaving. Season two characters will not be here in game anymore, and we will not be able to pull them. They won't be in the general pool or anything like that. If they decide to come back, they probably will, just at a later date and time, not specified. So kind of same thing with season one. That's why we don't see any season one characters and banners anymore. Um... So yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting. It appears that he is going to be a pickup, so I think that he is going to be added to the general pool afterwards, so I don't think we need to worry about like maxing him out day one unless he wants to. But the good thing is that they are going to be coming out with a special event. Now, they could mean that it will come out with like an original story event with Julius. Maybe they want to do like a kind of like backstory scene with him, but... Once we where we are in the anime into the story mode, the only thing that they can do regarding his kit is just a fight against the Eye Midnight Sun units, such as like Sally, Valtos, and them. That's the only fight and scene that we had with Julius in game regarding just his character alone, right? We we're not at the part where he fight against you know uh, Leet. And so I, I was about to say the other name, but I don't want to spoil it for y'all. But yeah, we're not at that fight yet. We're actually pretty pretty far from it. So we're not there, which means that the only Part of his kit that they can go off from is from this right where he fights you know Valtos it's pretty much the scene where he saves Asta from the Eye of Midnight Sun units and it was pretty cool we actually got a glimpse of what he can do in terms of his power his abilities his speed his you know whole time mechanic and everything so I think it's gonna be really really cool in that sense but I'm very curious as to see what event they have planned for him because if he does end up being our first ever like event character that's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be really interesting to see what they have planned going forward because I feel like they, this is something they can definitely do because keep in mind, right? As time goes on, we're gonna be getting more and more hype characters without a doubt, right? Like we're at like without a doubt as the chapters get, you know, go on as we get chapter 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc, etc, etc. We are gonna be getting, you know, Black Ops. So we're gonna be getting Spirit Form unit. We're gonna be getting Mary Leone. We're gonna be getting all these hype units, which I don't think really fits the category of just being a you know a regular rate up banner i feel like they at one point or another they are going to come out with a special type banner and definitely characters such as like julius and those others that i mentioned definitely fit that category so i feel like potentially this could be our first ever event character now what do y'all think let me know in the comment section do y'all think that julius is going to be our first ever special event character they don't say anything else besides just the fact that you know he is going to be releasing with a special event so that's where I'm kind of like going off from. I don't know. I just, in my mind, the way I'm thinking about it is Julius. He's like one of the most hype and anticipated characters that a lot of people will definitely summon for. And it's going to bring a lot of attraction to the game. So I feel like they are going to do some kind of special event or sp potentially special banner for him. Which I will definitely be for because the only special banners that we have are just seasonals, right? That's the only thing that we have in game right now. And they kind of don't correlate to like the original story if that makes sense right the original story of black clover they really don't correlate with that they do in a way but not really so like i the way the best way i can explain it is i don't think we're gonna be getting like you know a, a black asta seasonal right i i just maybe we will at some point but i just feel like that they're gonna save that for like a special event a special character so with that being said i don't know man i'm very very excited nonetheless and i feel like he is gonna be insanely broken um, he, he is coming for season three. I don't think he's gonna be releasing day one with the seasonals. It's just that doesn't make any sense. So he could potentially be releasing two weeks afterwards. Um, so keep in mind we only have a total of four units for season three as of right now, right? We have Austin, Charmy, Vanessa, and then lastly Julius. 
Um, typically, we have around at least like was it six units, I think, right? Wait, actually, did we? Wait, Season 2 only had five units, five brand new units that released. I just realized that. Wow. All right, so potentially, we could be getting one more. Unless they want to stop it at four units for Season 3, then they can, which I don't mind. There's less crystals that has to put out, which I'm here for. Um, so that would not be too bad, but we probably will be getting one more additional unit for Season 3 minimum. Um, and if they want to go ahead and do that, then that's not too bad. But let me know. What do y'all think? I am excited, dude. Julius is finally coming. I think he's going to be insane. Um, this is definitely the man. He, he needs to come out. That is great. And the fact that they actually are going through with it means that, you know, players are going to come back. It's going to attract a lot of attention. And obviously, like I said, it's not going to fix the issues of the game. But this could, you know, going forward, it can, you know, gain traction for the views regarding the game itself. And... Yeah, if the game does do better, then I feel like the devs are encouraged to do better, if that makes any sense. Alright, I'm in it there. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Let me know. What do y'all think? Event exclusive or not? Or do y'all think he's going to be a regular pickup unit with just a special event? I, I do think he is going to be a special banner. I For some reason, I don't know why. It just, like, in my mind, it's Julius. It just makes the most sense to me. So, I don't know. Let me know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Alright, I'm in it there. Y'all take care. Peace.